Hi, welcome to Broward College's North Campus. The world is open and so are we. During the fall semester, we will be running at 100% capacity in our studio classes. So in case you're still deciding which elective courses to take, we're here to help you out. Our fine arts department is offering several studio art classes from which you can choose. So today, I wanna to introduce you to one of our distinguished art professors on North Campus, Professor Lisa Rockford. I am in a studio art class with Professor Lisa Rockford. Professor Rockford has been teaching on North Campus for several years. And today she is going to introduce you to a few techniques that you can learn in our Drawing One class. Have you ever wondered how artists become good at drawing realistically? I'm gonna show you an activity we do at the beginning of Drawing One class called Blind Contour Drawing. In Blind Contour Drawing, we usually use a cover sheet and put your hand under the cover sheet while you're drawing the model so you cannot cheat and see what you're drawing. This drawing activity helps develop hand-eye coordination so that you trust the communication between your brain and your hand to know what you're drawing and force yourself to observe what you're drawing. Because when you're drawing realistically, you need to look at the subject at least 50% of the time or even 75% of the time, look at your subject and only glance at the paper so that you're not drawing from memory. So for the sake of the camera today, I'm going to remove the cover sheet so that you can see what I'm drawing, but I'm going to sit in a way that I cannot see the paper. I had one of my colleagues today sit for me as a model so that you can see what I'm drawing. With blind contour, it's all about trusting your observational skills. It's not going to turn out like a realistic drawing, but if you can tell what it is, that's a success. You can see that because I didn't keep a continuous line between the glasses, I ended up with the glasses on the mouth and it looks like he's blowing a bubble. But if I had kept continuous and went to the other side of the glasses next, it might have worked better that way because I'm trying to remember where I left off. I don't know where I'm going back if I go to the bottom and then have to try to get back up to the top. So the more continuous that you stay, the more you can know in your mind where you are on the paper. But I did pick up my pen a lot. And so then uh, there were some spots where I, I lost where I was. These are examples of the calligraphy portrait from 2D design class. Students varied their values to create linear value variety. They used their handwriting in different sizes. Instead of regular cross hatching, they wrote a word over and over again to create layers of value. In drawing class, we'll start out with simpler techniques like this and then work to more complex techniques like learning tonal value and linear value and expressive techniques. And we invite you to join one of our other studio art classes like 2D design, 3D design, computer art, photography, ceramics, and more. Mm -hmm. 